Hello again, I came with uh, another video that is part sorry that continued from the Scala switch configuration. So we will see the actual testing of this configuration. Okay. Let's see first the actual wiring. Okay, as you see, this is the higher uh, module with integrated CPU. And here is the Scalian switch, and here is the Danfoss motor, three phase motor. Okay, let's check the ports. If I dismantle Danfoss VLT internet port, it shows a fault here on the Scalian switch, also on the on the PLC. Okay, let's, in, let's insert the internet port of Danfoss on another port or port 3. Okay, still the fault is there because we assigned port 2 for Danfoss that we are inserting on another port. Okay, let's Let's unplug the port 3 and put on the right assigned port that is port 2. Okay, as you see, the error is now gone. Okay, also the CPU error is also gone. Okay, or let's t test. Okay, monitor. Let me start the drive now. Okay, as you see, the dump was run is running at 25 hours because we send uh, the reference 2000. The full speed is 4000 in hexa, but I send 2000. 2000 here. If I increase this one, the frequency also increases. Okay, let me stop first. Okay. Let me send around 3000. 3000. And save and download. Okay, download again and let's start again the drive. The frequency is now at 7.4, it's around 75%. Okay, the drive is running in full speed or around 75 percent okay, let me stop again okay that's great As you see, the status word is 4607. Let's, let's check this one time. Okay. So let's open the MC10. Okay, let's go to the static. Okay, the control word is now 
four seven four three F because it's stop it as you see it's it's sending sending four three F okay let's send the four seven F okay as you see the control is now changes four seven F okay let's see the status word the status word the control ready drive ready enabled and no error the other important thing is bus control these are active now it's okay